what's really going on. Bitcoin, crypto, and currency. We're looking at XRP price action in a zone of high volatility as we jump up, down, and around between these key ranges. I mean, we've already seen, uh, you know, more than double our money on XRP over the following 41 days after Engineer Robo gave us some buy suggestions, and we saw up to 120 percent in gains easily turning ten thousand dollars into over twenty thousand dollars just by sitting around looking at it and so if you didn't take profit above at or around that swing high um, you know there was reasons you perhaps should have uh, considered closing your position around you know one dollar and thirteen cents when our robo advisors became bearish on price action allowing you to capitalize on 76 percent roi with engineering robos buy and sell suggestions and so engineering robo is not used to determine the exact top or bottom of any market, uh, but is used to decipher the best areas of accumulation and take profit that have the highest chances of success. And so of the many different robo-advisors available, it is key to pick the best three that suit your trading strategy. And so once your chosen three robo-advisors have given you um, a bullish or bearish suggestion and two of your three robo-advisors agree on price action that is used um, to determine your entries and exits. And so at the moment, we have all three of our chosen robo-advisors advisors bearish on price action which does suggest continued sideways or downside in the um, kind of you know foreseeable short term here i do believe in the long term this is um you know rather bullish for us um in a kind of more longer perspective and are just a great area to be accumulating and presents more lows uh, to allow the uptrend to continue and momentum can be gained through this uh, kind of process here however in the immediate short term with these factors in play i'm looking for further interaction with some key levels before i can start comfortably accumulating xrp and so i mean uh, ever since engineering robo has become bearish on price action on the 7th of september when two of our chosen three robo advisors became bearish we actually experienced up to um, you know, 23% in downside over the following two weeks. Um, however, we have, you know, briefly recovered here in a very bullish manner, currently still technically down just over 10% um, kind of thing ever since Engineering Robo has become bearish. And so technically we do not see um, bullish robo advisors just yet. So in my opinion, um, this would not be um, the most bullish area to be accumulating. This is a very bullish candle and there's lots of buy pressure present. Um, however, I do believe price action may interact in a manner similar to the end of May of this year, all the way into the middle of June. We see price action getting, um, you know, kicked and slapped, spit on and trapped between these two uh, key FIBA zucchini levels. And so in my opinion, resistance present around the 0.5 FIBA monopoly level, $1.03 is going to be a key um, uh, area of sell pressure for us overhead in the immediate short term. And um, you know, bullish areas of support will be present around the 0.382 Fibonacci level, 81 cents. In my opinion, is going to be a key area of support all the way down to 70 eight cents as well as going to be by pressure and um, you know my opinion here so we do have some more significant key levels to be interacting with first um, before i can start comfortably accumulating xrp and so right now further confirmation of support and resistance is needed because we are in between a very key range and in my opinion we are closer to um, resistance so Engineer Robo currently bearish on price action, technically interacting with resistance. In my opinion, I would wait for a more comfortably bullish opportunity to accumulate XRP before jumping into it for the first time. Let me know in the comments down below where you think price action is going to uh, go. But if we jump over to IRIS against USDT, an update on Iris coin price action looking, um, you know, rather bullish in my opinion. Uh, still, when we left off, prices were around the, um, you know, kind of like 12 cent level as we were bouncing off of my key 11 cent level that I was suggesting we would need further interaction with, um, you know, to allow the uptrend to continue. And uh, we see price action has risen up to, you know, 16, 17 cents almost there, traded sideways for a couple weeks, only to break downward and return to this bullish area of support and my key level around 11 cents. And we seem to be experiencing that buy pressure off of it um, so at the moment uh, price action has um, you know risen up to kind of like a good 27 28 percent in kind of just a couple days here so i do believe that is a you know very bullish maneuver in a very small amount of time so 
a um, you know slight amount of sell pressure may come into play in the very immediate short term and so uh, at the moment a more bullish area to accumulate would have been 11 cents however in my opinion accumulating at this current level uh, would still be um, not too bad perhaps subject to the highest chance of very very short term downside uh, in my opinion there are very minimal reasons to be um, you know bearish on this coin because all of our robo advisors are still bullish uh, as we can see we've experienced up to 101% over the following 46 days after Engineering Robo became bullish on price action. Uh, you're currently sitting on 58% ROI with Engineering Robo's buy signals and with no sell signals in play. I do believe the uptrend will very much continue. And so accumulating at my 11 cent level and selling at my resistance here at 20 three cents will bring you another 101 percent roi so double your money between these two key levels if you were to um, buy at my support and sell at my resistance here i very much expect the uptrend will continue and reach my resistance uh, over the following um you know weeks here is at the moment uh, things are looking still bullish however if we are met with another abrupt change in momentum we will require a new analysis and so at the moment price action looking uh, very bullish in my opinion and I mean if we can see previous times we've seen these uh, buy signals to available advisors became bullish around five cents per iris coin and then we see prices rise up to 531 percent over the following 86 days easily turning ten thousand dollars into over sixty thousand dollars in um, you know less than three months just by sitting around looking at it and so uh, if you didn't take profit at that level our um, you know robo advisors became bearish around um, 13 cents uh, per iris allowing you to capitalize on 177 percent roi i'm suggesting you sell at those levels and uh, we do see price action um, after becoming bearish on kind of you know prices moving forward we see in the immediate short term a rise of 85 percent uh, however over the following kind of months we see price action diminish up to 64 percent before becoming um, bullish again and so uh, there's engineering robo saving you from up to 64 percent in downside with its bearish suggestions and so engineering robo is not used to determine the exact top or bottom of the market but is used to decipher the best areas of accumulation and take profit that have the highest chances of success and so right now things are still looking bullish no sell advisors in play price action consolidating sideways above support i do believe um 23 dollars my resistance is uh, pending for us uh, so let me know in the comments where you think price action is going to go but we're going to swap over to bitcoin crypto the currency we're looking at price action currently um, you know coming out of a very high amount of buy pressure and bullish area of support near this uh, $41,500 level was a very key area that I've been suggesting as we were experiencing the resistance around $48,000 per Bitcoin I was suggesting um, you know with two of our chosen three robo advisors bearish on price action currently interacting with resistance we've been very bullish in a rather short amount of time over the following months leading up to this abrupt change in momentum that we experienced at the beginning of September I was uh, suggesting that we may experience um, this breakdown were to war uh, these kind of key levels here and so the 0.618 Fibba Illuminati level uh, was my sort of area of bullish support all the way down to $38,000 per Bitcoin um, is where we can be interacting with and I can still be um, you know, bullish on price action in the long term moving forward with a robo advisors bearish I do believe in the immediate short term here I would like kind of further interaction with support and some key levels before I can comfortably start accumulating Bitcoin however there's never a bad time to buy Bitcoin in my opinion only better times and I believe a uh, better and more comfortably bullish time to accumulate Bitcoin will present itself for us moving forward I still suspect we will experience a six-figure Bitcoin before any sort of um, you know bull run if you will is over uh, we have you know perhaps one hundred and eighteen thousand dollars per Bitcoin as um, you know a key kind of potential you know top here for any sort of uh, market and so in my opinion in the immediate short term this is a very bullish phase of accumulation and consolidation for us and an interaction with some very key set of levels here that we kind of just came from and so um, solidification of these areas as support will be very bullish for us moving forward in the immediate short term i'm looking for further confirmation of these levels now let me know in the comment section down below where you think price action is going to go what are you doing with your bags if you have them are you accumulating are you selling let me know what you're doing during this fearful uncertain and doubt filled time in the crypto sphere here Thanks for tuning in. Check out Engineering Robo Free with a link in the description. Subscribe here on YouTube. Check out all the other social media down below. 
Thank you for tuning in and tune in for the next one.